Yes, my man here talking about. Y'all saw the SNL skit that Dave Chappelle did recently? Nah, uh, uh. I, I know you saw the comedy man, the army guy walked through that voter for Trump or something like the, the Trump voter. I know you saw that one, I saw that video. Okay. And he just cracked the wall, like, hey, boy, start laughing. And it was like, yo, damn, you should hey. never walk past Dave Chappelle, <laughs> boy. You crazy? My man, he did one when he was copying, Ryan was no there toy. He did one when he was copying, um, he took a scene from The Walking Dead, but he replaced the characters in Walking Dead with characters that he played in his Dave Chappelle show. Mm. But the way he do it, like, it, it was sharp. It was sharp. And it just reminded you that that man, he ain't lost it. Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Yes. Yeah, Chris another one. Rock. Another one. Another one. Um, Eddie Murphy and the Clamps? Crazy. Eddie Murphy, another one. I, um, I get a little worried. I don't know it. Sometimes I feel like, and I, I, I don't want ever, if I ever get to do the things I really want to do, that I dream about doing in terms of performance and the arts and comedy and that kind of thing, mm. I don't ever want to lose that. If I, if I ever get to the level that I see some of these men at, because Chris Rock was it at one time too, like this got a sharpness and like a, a directness that. I don't know if being comfortable does relax it out a little bit or something, mm. but I don't want to lose that. I would like to just spend the rest of my life cruel, cruel. Oh, you know, being, get, getting comfortable is a real art killer sometimes. Kill you. Yeah. You know, you sit down, your bellies get big, you know, it's just, yeah. like, good man, really, I ain't really going to put that much effort. I got a huge following, but like you say, in the blink of an eye, it could be all gone. Yeah, it's good, boy. You know, we, we really need... You could be like, Lord, what happened to Zane? <laughs> we, 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 we really yeah. need somebody to do what the Calypsonians used to do, is, and that's some sharp political and social satire. Correct. I agree. Laugh it off was... Is you know, eventually laugh it off, like laugh it off, it's been the same over the years. I mean, the same actors and stuff. So, right. all younger comedians now gotta come. Yeah, up. we have we, we did some work with laugh it off. Um, but I think they're gaining new people all the time and helping more people come out. They, they're doing a really good thing out there. Okay. I want part of something else, get like a few players going per year. I think will be the next step. Jamaica has a real thriving comedy player. Yeah, oh, you mean the scene or the com theater comedy scene? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Jamaica, yeah. They've, they've got it. But I think in terms of the arts, they have a much greater appreciation. I don't know if it stems from the fact that Bob was out there for so long and then they had so many artists that represent Jamaica out there for a while. Right. But like they have, I find, a different relationship with the arts from Barbados. Mm. And by my understanding, we. We had it like back in the eighties. Barbados was it back, but in, then back in the day. Apparently, something happened. I mean, I was born in the eighties. I, I just going off of the stories that I'm right. um, talking to older people. This is what they said that back in the eighties, Barbados had a real life theater comedy scene. There was a lot more happening in the arts, but then something happened in the nineties. I don't know. I wasn't around for it. <laughs> I, I see it. I see a trend, right? And this is this is another reason why I'm excited about the social media right. comedy scene mm -hmm. because it happened. From what I understand, Spooge, right. local music, right? right? Spooge was popular across the region. And when Spooge acts would leave Barbados to go to other islands to perform, the, the people would flock there to hear some Spooge, mm -hmm. and the Belgian acts won't play it. Because they didn't believe in it. This is a story that I heard. I don't okay. know how true it is, but, right. yeah. but I've heard it from more than one person. Mm -hmm. The, the, these acts, these Barbadian bands did not understand what they had in Spooge mm -hmm. and we let it die. Right, okay. We had a rebel revolution when Lil Rick and Peter Ram yeah. were on the scene, yeah. right? We had gems, um, they were gems. Was want, was, was one that was on um, off our hill? Rebel revolution. Rebel revolution, right? Revolution. And there with Kid Sight. Mm -hmm. And a lot of youngsters never really hear Kid Sight chanting and all Kid Sight was yeah. bad. wicked. Bad. You know what I'm saying? And we let it, we let it die. Because for some reason, we find it hard to embrace our own thing. Mm -hmm. So when I see you guys doing what you're doing, and the people from the ground mm -hmm. embracing it. Boy, that's, that's something that I um, I really feel like people said that Bajans don't support, but I don't feel the same way in this generation. This know? generation mm -hmm. different. I, I can tell that for, that for a fact because like, when you look at it, like, I remember when I, I did a video about, uh, um, I remember a time, TMZ. Mm -hmm. They call up Rihanna and say, talking a lot of junk about Rihanna. And then they go a video. Mm. And they cannot believe the amount of likes that they Yo, get. Yo, like, honestly. That video went wild. Like, in my 
personal experience, the, the support, and not just for me, but for local stuff, like people supporting, um, people really supporting this stuff and, and genuinely pushing people forward. And, and not just me, but if, if I find a lot of times when people got friends, they're pushing their friends and oh. trying to help their friends get forward. Wait, people, the support is there at the moment, is at it, least in this generation. It's a different age. The support was always there right. from the people, you know. Mm -hmm. What it was is that the people with the money who could actually make you sure. give, provide right. you a living right. from that right. support right. now right. were not there. Right. But now you have now social you media where you can right. quantify right. your audience. Right. And they can't sure. deny your audience. Right. And you have international companies mm -hmm. who don't got the same class hang-ups and social hang-ups that yeah. other money people in Barbados in the past right. would have had. Right. They're willing to sponsor you. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they got, like, for instance, with me with my blog, mm -hmm. like, remember the first time about the Barbados, we had a show on Slam on Sundays. And I yeah, went to Ghana, see if you'd be interested in sponsorship here, man. So we um, use cars and things, buddy. Hey, like, dude, it's on the radio. Mm. You really can go on the radio and curse. So that's what you expect me to like, go on the radio and right. act the fool. Okay. So there's always like a learn you with certain things. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, the news a curse word is so, oh my God, I can't believe you know, said, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. sir? I didn't work. I be like, yo, man, kiss my ass, big man. Like, you know what? Mm -hmm. Keep on a thing. <laughs> if that's how you feel about me, mm -hmm. keep your thing. It's a different that's way, it, no, man. You um, can stand up for your own. You yeah. can stand up because, let me show you. Imagine this. Think about this for a minute. You, Seth, so you all decide to come together, mm -hmm. and you all going to do as the main, the main acts. Mm -hmm. And you all just get a list of others, other comedians, mm -hmm. that little known, some of them known too. So get a, uh, um, uh, what you call it, like some place to hold this this session where it's like, yo, we can come and say, oh, look, we can go to Earth, Earth, Lord Earth in Sanford Complex. Mm -hmm. I bet you all sell out. Mm -hmm. I can bet you that. I bet you that this too, when you bet you this, if you all repeated it, mm -hmm. week after week, every week when I can sell out. Right. Whereas like, that's how they do shows in the market. They got you like, yo, you get such a success. They got a much bigger people. market though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. You could even probably, you all could probably even get people flying in. Right. For that same thing, because if, if the same thing happened, people are like, oh man, I got reggae artists, but people's got a reggae on the hill. It's all about marketing. Yeah.